Missouri has done it. They just landed the number one defensive lineman in America. Five-star plus, Williams Winery has committed to the Tigers just moments ago. The six foot six, 265 pound defensive lineman is from Lee Summit, Missouri. He's the third best player overall and commits to the Tigers over Georgia, Oklahoma, Tennessee, and Oregon. Let's bring on national recruiting analyst, Sam Spiegelman. Sam, a year ago, we thought this was heading in OU's direction. Maybe a few months ago when the cycle started, we still thought it was OU. This summer, Things started slowly changing to Missouri. How is Mizzou able to land the five-star plus defensive lineman? Yeah, well, Missouri was a staple in Williams Winery's recruitment since he was an underclassman. But like you mentioned, he was leaning Oklahoma. He was leaning Tennessee, leaning even Georgia at different junctures of the offseason. Missouri was able to get Williams Winery back on campus this June for a critical official visit since then. Eli Drinkwitz, Al Davis, Kevin Peoples, Blake Baker, the defensive coordinator at Missouri. It's been a full-fledged effort to get the number one player in the state to stay home. That visit in June has really resonated throughout the summer and after the July dead period. It's been all Tigers of creating all the stir with williams Winery, and they were able to close as this August 14th deadline approached. Mm. Just a huge recruiting win for the Tigers, but it's six foot six, 265 pounds. What does Williams Winery bring to the roster? Yeah, you talk about those measurable in 36, 36 plus inch arms, 11 inch hands. He ran a 40 yard dash in five seconds. Um, last season was really a breakout season for Williams Winery, 22 tackles for loss and a dozen sacks. He's just really scratching the surface. He lines up largely as an interior defensive lineman. He blows you away with his combination of length and power and his explosiveness off the ball. And when you look at all those measurables we just talked about, he really can project on the edge as well, which just kind of opens up a can of worms with how you're going to try to stop Williams Winery on the defensive front. Just an absolute huge win. Again, as I said, who, who, but who do you think this stings the most? I mean, I know Georgia thought that they were sneaking in there at the end by getting them in for an official in June, but who does this hurt the most? Yeah, I think you have to look at Tennessee here. Oklahoma still has a lot of big fish left on the board and five stars, Dominic McKinley and David Stone, who are still set to announce over the next couple of weeks. Tennessee was a school that was really all in on Williams Winery since the beginning. They got him on campus almost four or five times over the last half half uh, calendar year. Um, you know, Georgia is is doing just fine in the trenches. They were able mm -hmm. to get guys like Joseph Jonah and Johnny from the state of Texas. But Tennessee was all in on Williams Winery, and they're going to have to look elsewhere on the defensive line. Look at players like Danny Akoy as they like to look as as a top target still on the board for for the Vols. All right, let's bring the attention back to Missouri here. What does this mean for Missouri recruiting? And Sam, do I see more five stars on the horizon? Yeah, Missouri is looking to keep the best players in the state of Missouri home. And Williams Winery was a fantastic first step for Coach Drinkwitz in, in doing that. And um, in talking about the buzz that, that Williams Winery has created the last couple of weeks, I had a source tell me that if they were able to get him on board you know, before the season starts, they liked their chances long-term with another five-star wide receiver, Ryan Wingo. We know that Ryan Wingo has explored a lot of the same options, schools like Tennessee and Georgia. We know that Texas and, and Texas A&M have come on strong this summer, but he also squeezed in that official visit to Missouri back when Williams Winery was on campus. And there's a lot of confidence that now that Williams Winery is on board that, you know, down the road, they might have a good shot with, with keeping Wingo in state as well. Yeah, I think you have to completely look at Ryan Wingo's recruitment differently now that Williams Winery is a Mizzou Tiger. Sam, thanks for dropping by. A huge day for the Tigers, landing the number one defensive lineman in America. Thanks for having me, Josh. Thank you for watching. Make sure you smash that subscribe button for me. And remember to check out all the videos on the On3 YouTube page.